In order to identify an angle given the measure of the angle, we're going to set this up just like we set up the problems where we were measuring the angle using a protractor. So the first thing we need to look at is we have this angle where one side of the angle is OP. And that's this bottom part right here, the solid, the solid side. So that's the part, if we're thinking about our protractor, that we're going to line up at the bottom of the protractor where the vertex O is at the center of the protractor. Now for this problem, we need to figure out which one of these sides will create an angle of 30 degrees from OP. So the best thing to do is to think about the protractor. The protractor goes all the way over here and sets up 180 degrees. And we know halfway from 0 to 180 is 90 degrees, which is this right here. So, if I'm setting up my protractor correctly and I'm lining it up on this side of OP, that means that my zero degrees is right here. So I basically am going to fill in the angle measurements from zero degrees up to 90 degrees in order to figure out which side QO, RO, or SO will give me an angle measurement of 30 degrees. So, if I set that up, I'll have 10 degrees, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and then 90 degrees. So if I look, it seems as though POQ, this angle right here, measures close to 30 degrees. So answer choice A is the correct answer.